Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials, I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about instance variables and polymorphism. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website, javacjava.com, select menu and Java OOP tutorials. I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the Polymorphism Instance Variables tutorial. In my previous Polymorphism tutorials, I discussed the principle of polymorphic method invocation. At runtime, the JVM determines which method to invoke based on the type of the object, not the type of the reference variable. Since polymorphism applies to instance methods, does polymorphism apply to instance variables? The answer is no. Polymorphism does not apply to instance variables. Can we override an instance variable just like we can override an instance method? Technically no, but there is more to it. While it is true that subclasses inherit members of a superclass, and that includes accessible instance variables, simply declaring an instance variable in a subclass with the same type and name merely hides the inherited superclass instance variable. Let's come down here and highlight the source code here. Control C to copy or right click and select copy. I'm going to move my browser off screen here. And I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really quick by right clicking, selecting new shortcut, CMD, next, and finish. Okay, I'm going to open that up, type in Java C, right, which is the Java compiler command. You should see all this stuff scroll by. However, if you get an error message, watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, cd space backslash, cd is short for change directory backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory called java using the md command. Now I already have that, that folder, but if you don't, I'm going to go ahead and create it for you. Change directories to the java folder. I'm going to make a, another folder here called poly instance. Change directories to that. I'm going to notepad poly instance dot java. Okay. Okay, all right, so most of the source code is recycled from my previous tutorial there. So I've got the car class and I've made a couple of changes to it. Um, I added in this declaration and initialization statement here. In primitive int type, variable price, right, equals 28,400. Now we know this is going to be an instance method when we create an instance of car. And then I'm just um, putting that price inside of that uh, and closing that in these two string literals here when it displays that. And of course I've got the average price method here, void type. Honda Accord extends car. Um, and of course we've got our average price override, overrided method there. And here I've put in int price equals 26,007, right? Down here in Toyota Prius it extends car as well. Same thing, you got the uh, override on the average price there, and I've got int price equals 23,450. All right, um, let's go ahead and come up here, save this, and talk about what we've got going on here. So I've got three reference variables, C1, C2, and C3, all of car type, setting the first one equal to a new car object, the second one equal to a new Honda Accord, and the third one equal to a new Toyota Prius. Now, um, first thing I'm doing is calling the print line method to display c1.price. And of course I have no encapsulation on this. You know, it's not a good programming practice, but I just have to do this to demonstrate this here, right? So c1.price, it's a car type, car object. There's no doubt in my mind it's going to have a display 28,400 of the console. And then average price, of course, since this is a car object, is going to display this average price and display that to the console there, okay? Now, let's go ahead and make sure this is saved, and let's run it here real quick. Let's clear our screen. Compile it and run it. Okay, let's move this down here. So the average price of a new, we got 28,400, and the average price of a new car is 28,400, okay? I'll move this down a little bit more. Now on the next statement that's executed, printing out C2.price, right? C2 is a car type, but a Honda Accord object, right? So now price is displayed based on the reference variable type. There is no polymorphism 
with instance variables, right? Whereas on the next statement that executes, uh, methods are invoked based on the object type, there is polymorphism, okay? Fairly simple on that. And I'm just gonna come down here and show you the Honda Accords. You know, its price is 26,007. Toyota Prius's price is 23,450, right? We do get the uh, the proper dollar amount displayed up here, 26,007, right? Um, and that's of course because when this um, when this is displayed, this is of course the price instance method or instance variable right there, right? Even though we're not overriding, we're simply hiding. I'll explain that in just a minute there. Um, and then we check out the Toyota Prius once again. We get um, C3 dot price display to the console, we get 28,400 and C3 dot average price method invoked, we get the average price of a new Toyota Prius is 23,450, right? Okay, so just to drive home the point that um, the when when basically reading a reading a variable or writing a variable, polymorphism does not apply if you're directly doing it through the reference there, right? It's all based on the reference type. So if I come down here, display this to the console, and then I'm going to create a Honda Accord, uh, well an HA reference variable of Honda Accord type and set it equal to a new Honda Accord object, and then I'm going to create a reference variable TP of Toyota Prius type and set it equal to a new Toyota Prius. And then if I display these guys to the console right there, you can see we get 26,007 and 23,450. All right, so let's come down here and pick on the Honda Accord a little bit here. Let's just comment this, the instance price instance variable out, okay? Now, what are we going to get displayed to the, to the console there. And you probably already know the answer to that, but let's just go ahead and run it here. Let's clear our screen, compile it, and run it there. Okay, so we get the average price of a new Honda Accord is 28,400, and down here we get 28,400. So when, um, so it definitely inherits this particular member, right, um, from the car class down here in the Honda Accord. So when we do something like this, we are not overriding that, right? we are simply hiding the superclass variable. The superclass variable still exists up here. We would normally inherit it, but we're hiding it. So anytime we refer to price from within the, um, the class here, right? It's going to look at this version of it right here, not the inherited one. We're hiding the inherited one. Okay, all right. So that's pretty much how that works there. I'll go ahead and put this back to the way it was. We'll clear our screen, recompile it. And there we go. We're right back to where we were before. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this, get rid of that. And so the basic uh, lesson here is polymorphism does not apply to instance variables. So I'm going, and basically that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.